In a previous video, we talked about why I tried out the brand new Pixel 3. The incredible camera, customizability, and overall newness of the device was appealing. However, in that video, I teased that a making it mine video on the device was in the works. This is that video. Let's take a look at how I've made the Google Pixel 3 mine. First is the home screen. For my launcher, I'm using the widely acclaimed Nova Launcher. This insanely customizable home app is my favorite for tweaking an Android phone to my liking. The sheer amount of settings available inside this app is incredible. Currently, I'm using the 6.0 beta, but it's been extremely stable and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. As for my wallpaper here, it's a super sweet one from the app Backdrops. Backdrops is a fantastic resource for finding some really dope wallpapers for your phone to help freshen it up. The direct link for this wallpaper is in the description below. This wallpaper is peaceful, calming, and not extremely busy, which for this setup is what I'm going for. Starting at the top, I'm using Google's At A Glance widget. I love it for its simplicity and design, as it conveniently shows things like upcoming calendar events and weather conditions when I need them. Moving down below is where things get a little more interesting. Now, the icon pack I'm using is one called Moxie by Max Patches. Max is one of my favorite designers, hands down. His work is always top-notch, high-quality packs with beautiful icons. You can check this icon pack out at the link in the description. My grid is set to 6x5, with icons at 110% scale. Personally, I love being as organized as possible, so all the app folders here are carefully labeled, and I've set custom folder icons for each from Moxie. It really helps with simplifying the setup and making it more visually appealing, at least for me. Inside the first folder, Imaging, I've got apps related to photography and videography. Lightroom, Moment, Lens Distortions, Google Photos, they're all here. Inside of the second folder, Work, I've got apps pertaining to productivity, so Todoist, Gmail, Keep, and Trello all fit inside of here. The Social folder has my social and communication apps, like Twitter, Telegram, Hangouts, etc. Inside of Play are games and entertainment apps like YouTube or Pocket Casts. Finally, inside of Utilities are miscellaneous apps like my banking apps, wallpaper apps, and password manager, etc. Below the folders, I've got a few commonly used apps such as Phone, Messages, and Google Chrome. The search bar just above the navigation bar has been tweaked to be more squared off and monochrome. On the left, I've got Google Now. I mean Google Feed. I mean Discover. Man. Anyway, it's quite nice to have cars for relevant news stories and topics always ready for me to peruse. Swiping over to the second page, I've got a calendar widget, Agenda. This one is fantastic, created by an indie developer named Francisco Franco. You may have seen this widget in videos by a certain other YouTuber by the name of MKBHD. What I love about this widget is the fact that it is extremely customizable, so while you can have this cool transparent look that you see here, you can also change it to be more opaque, like so. I really like this widget. You can check it out at the link in the description. Swiping up into the app drawer, you'll notice that I've adjusted it to have a card background. I really enjoy this look as it reminds me of the Nexus and Lollipop days. The grid here is 6x5 with the icon size set to 110%. You might have noticed this floating icon. This is from an app called Tap by Jahir Fikwativa. What it allows you to do is launch a quick action. I've set it to create a new Todoist item wherever I am on my phone. All I have to do is tap on this icon and the Todoist quick add sheet pops up. It's extremely handy. You can find the link to tap in the description. Part of making the Google Pixel 3 mine comes in the form of accessories. And one accessory I've been rocking with my Pixel 3 is the New Force BE Sport Force. These are a pair of Bluetooth sport earbuds, both stylish and functional with interchangeable silicone ear tips to ensure maximum comfort and stability. And as with any wireless earbuds in 2018, they've got all your expected features, 10 hours of battery life, fast charging, and inline controls, allowing you to play, pause, or skip tracks with ease. The controls also have a built-in mic for activating Siri or the Google Assistant, or simply taking phone calls. They support both Aptex and AAC for optimal sound for both Apple and Android devices, and they look pretty cool too. What's crazy is that they only cost 79 bucks. Definitely check them out via the links in the description. We left links for both Walmart and Amazon. Huge thanks to New Force for sponsoring this video. As you can see from my setup, I've definitely taken a lot of cues from the Pixel Launcher, but I've tweaked it to better suit my tastes. What setup are you rocking on your Android? Feel free to share it with me on Twitter by tagging at JacksonHVisuals. I'd love to see what your setup looks like. Well, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. 
If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the Android Police channel. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel as well, feel free to click on my face here. My name is Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.